really my SLO story is when I've done SLO training with teachers, it seems like everything always gets stuck on what kind of goal do I have to do and, and it's about compliance and how do I make sure that I do the right goal and what if it's not a good goal and what if I, I can't make it. And so I found that when I could talk with teachers about making sure that the SLO mimics the kind of goal setting that we do in a real life, it makes more sense. So I really have my metaphor for SLO is all about marathon training because I'm a marathoner. And I talk about when I'm doing a marathon, the first thing I do is get my baseline evidence. So what's my baseline evidence? What's the last race that I've done? How did I do on it? What are other races that I've done? And I look at that and I do some analysis and I figure out, okay, so what would be an attainable goal? So I use that baseline data to figure out my trajectory growth. And that trajectory growth is what will be, what would be attainable with the time period that I have. Then comes my training plan. So my training plan is really my scope and sequence. So for my scope and sequence, I really put together how many times I'm gonna run during the week. I have skills that I might want to, you know, some strength training to add into it, some different things and, and, um, and how I'm going to increase the intensity as I get closer to the marathon. At that point, I'm also doing tons of formative assessment. Running and anytime you have a goal, it's all about formative assessment. So I, anytime that I go out and I'm assessing how the run went. Another evidence source that I go for is as I'm getting ready for the, the event and the race, I also do some other races. So I have some interim assessment in there. I have 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathon maybe, um, just to see am I on track. The piece that I think is important in any time you set an SLO or a goal is collaboration. And as, as a runner, collaboration comes in lots of forms. It can come in anytime I'm having problems with my training or maybe I had a problem with a race. I virtually or personally talk to fellow runners and it, they're all out there. You can't help but network. And I think the same is really true for any time you are setting a literacy SLO that you need to be talking with your fellow colleagues on other literacy leaders, be out there and networking. You know, we, we are in Wisconsin where everyone is doing an SLO. So there's m much expertise around um, the state and beyond to, to help you with that.